Hey guys, Justin here, Steinmetz Family Farm. So about six months ago, I think it was, uh, I was here on the farm with my zero turn and something was leaking and it caught on fire. Ah! Fire! Hey, Dave, we got a fire! Dave, here, 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 record that. Gasoline, but Dave, can I put water on gas? Here, right here. Grab one of these. Keep coming. More water. Here, here, here. More water. Where's the bucket? Underneath. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. What the heck? He says it's burning underneath. Yeah, there was flames coming from the bottom. Wow. I wonder what happened to you. I don't know. Just caught fire. It's out. Yeah. It's out. It's out. It's out. Oh my God. I don't know what happened. Dave is so deaf. <laughs> I know he's over there working on the the heater. It's gone. It caught on fire, and it's not gonna work <laughs> it was a flaming roaring mess yeah right that could have been so bad yeah right next to the tank great all right well can't do anything about it now the fire extinguisher loved you it was a disaster my heart broke and i was ready to jump the entire thing but then, Dave said, I'll fix it. <laughs> I was like, you can't fix this. So I used my dango. We tried to put it on his trailer, and I did more damage putting it on his trailer than I did even catching it on fire. All the electronics were burnt up. The manifold was broken. The pulleys were busted. The arms were bent. Everything was destroyed. And I felt extremely discouraged. So off my mower went to Connecticut. it again and he just arrived him and his wife just arrived and we have the grand reveal of the grasshopper <laughs> what is going on here the whole entire thing is smoking
way! <laughs> Look at this bad boy! It's up and running again! In memory. He even put LED lights in there, my man. <laughs> Thank you. Well. I am so excited. Oh. I have to try it out. It's like home again. Let's go. is that that's awesome you guys are like something else i owe you dave I no i don't yeah i do so you got to walk us through everything you did what's this about right here that's what i'm working on that's the that's the battery that's oh that's your battery thing the fuse is all melted fuse uh so you got new hoses all the way throughout because they were on fire so the the tank didn't Took it, no, the tank didn't wow, there's the evidence of the fire. Yeah. Now, if that would have burned through there, yeah. I probably would have yeah, blown up, too, right? This is like where it came up. It was, remember, it was all flying yeah. out the side. All the new electronics down there and wiring. <sighs> you know what? I wouldn't trade this even for the newest machine they got out there. Because this is... This is I was telling you, wasn't I telling you today? Yeah. The old machines is what you want. It caught on fire and I poked it with my forks and destroyed it and it's still living. Yep. He resurrected the beast. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing major, oh. These tractors today, you would have folded it in half. Oh, absolutely. Like the thickness of the steel on all this stuff. Absolutely. Very cool. Well, listen, this is Dave and Deborah from Connecticut, uh, longtime followers of Steinmetz Family Farm. Um, Dave actually watches my live streams, too. He does. He does. <laughs> He's always giving me awesome suggestions. Yep. Um, and I think, Deborah, you got him hooked on it, right? Yeah. yeah. Had to start from somewhere, you know? How did you... Okay, go ahead and tell the story real quick about how this all came about. Because it was pretty interesting, I remember. Well... How did it all come up? Well, you just showed up with hope. with hope. That was the original story. And then we went to the, saving the little, little hope's life, yeah. and, and then we went to the fair. And then I was then we had already gone to the farm show quite a few years in a row, and then we found out that you were going to be there, and I was like, you have to take. You back. used to go to the farm PA yes, farm show, yeah, anyways. We went there. We ah. went there anyway, and then um, yeah, so. I don't know. From it's history from there. We just, yeah. you know, we just became friends, and here we are. Yeah, they come down a lot. What is it about goats? What is it about goats? They're they're hysterical. <laughs> they are. They make a bad day better. They really do. Like, <laughs> they, I can't wait to see the new babies. Oh, you're gonna die. I can't wait to see the new babies. How many miles have you put on your vehicles because of goats? <laughs> A lot. It's 400. <laughs> it's 400 From each. Connecticut. What? Each way. Each way. So 800 so. per trip. Yeah. Yeah. So 800 per trip. Probably made three or four. Yeah, so we've been down a few times. Yeah, about 2,500. Uh, you can drive cr cross country at this point. We just don't go on vacation anymore. We just come visit you. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. We used to be off in January with the business. Right. So yeah. That's why we went to the farm show. Right. Got it. Because it was something. Well, guys, I have to give you a huge, huge props, huge thank you. I, you guys, you really got me. It's like I think an it's old friend back. Very creative. Give me a group hug here. Everything, uh, everything group this hug. week's coming back to life. 
Thank you. Bingo to motorcycle. The you enjoy it. What motorcycle? Your son's motorcycle. Oh, he right. Came back to life. He Dingo did. came back to life and now the grasshopper come back right. to life. Right. And now the fields are going to come back yeah. to life for Lori. That's right. <laughs> right? That's right. Everything is working. It was the new moon. <laughs> it was the eclipse. Yeah. Everybody, a right. uh, huge shout out to Dave and Deb uh, McClare from Connecticut, Maine, and New York. <laughs> See you guys. Did you flip me off? No, 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 no you, you need put the, the thumb, thumb, thumb out. out. You need the thumb I out. I can't do that. It's <laughs> too much. That's like trying to do the Spock thing. Uh, oh, I can't do that. I can. That? How about the baby shark? Baby shark, doop doop do do do. Baby shark, do do. Try that, Dave. Come on. Yeah, you got it. Come on, Deb can't do it. Come on. I can't do it. <laughs> Can you do it? Oh, I do this other thing where I do one, two, oh. three. Yeah. It's really hard to do. And then four, the pinky wants to go out. But hold the pinky straight and move the others. All right. How about this? Can you bend your pinky down? Hold your hand up. Just hold all your hand, your hand up. Yeah. Now bend this finger down. Okay. Now bend this finger down. Now bend this finger down. By itself? Yep. Now bend your pinky down. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's go back up with it, though. Now go down with it. What? Okay, I've never seen anybody. Yeah, but my hands. Now go up. Yeah. Oh, try, try it. I, I'm oh. like double joint. My thumb goes like. Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. That's a Guinness record thing. Put it back up again. <laughs> Get out of here. Here, I have never oh, seen my, anything yeah. like that in my life. Hold on. Is that a 90 degree? Put your thumb. Yeah, that's, that's 90 degrees. That's Does your other one do it too? Yeah. That's, I think it's from when I put <laughs> with the nuts and bolts. Mechanic, yeah. mechanic. Do your toes do it? Oh my God. You know no, don't even get started with his toes. Even. Dave is six foot six. We're headed off to the auction, and this is his limit on what he's allowed to buy, according to his wife. <laughs> six foot six guy pulling around his little radio flyer. Uh, I, how many trips are you going to make, really? Well, maybe I'll find some wood and make sides. Or I find a nice big crate that fits in the wagon. Oh, so there's no rules. So if he can extend the height of that while he's there, he's allowed to buy more, right? 